Lately, everybody is using Linux Mint. For some reason, it's like the most popular disk on the planet right now, including PewDiePie actually made a video about it. So I'm a Debian user. I love Debian 12. It's my favorite Linux distro. But I said, let's try Linux Mint. But I tried it on a really, really old and useful PC on the planet with two cores on it and eight gigabytes of RAM, if I remember correctly. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to go through a full installation and then see how it moves and stuff like that. This is more like a reaction rather than, you know, a tutorial and stuff like this, because I was just curious to see why it's everybody trying the next minute. So let's jump into the video. What specification we're working at? And this laptop, it's a really, really slow laptop. I mean, I'm trying to open this one and it barely loads. You can see open multiple times. So it's not going to be the best laptop on the planet. It's really old, really underpowered, and I can't even disappear. I probably opened it too many times. So we have Jesus. <laughs> so the processor is an AMD A9 with Radeon A5, if I saw that correctly. Right, Radeon R5. I'm sorry. It has two CPUs, 3.1 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the display is going to be an Radeon. Yeah, Radeon R5, the one that it says. So the point with this one is I'm going to install Linux Mint and I'm never used Linux Mint. I am a Debian user and stuff like this. So for me, it's a, okay, let's see what it can do. So let's plug in a USB drive and we're going to boot into our BIOS and make it boot from Windows, uh, from Linux Mint. I'm really curious to see what you can do because if it's easy to use, so install multimedia codecs, please do, yes. Configure secure boot, install me require request something. I don't want to configure secure boot. Preparing Ubuntu drivers. Okay. I didn't know this is made by Ubuntu. Well, fork of Ubuntu. Wait, I think I did a mistake over there. From what I saw, I think it said that I need to configure secure boot. So installing for party driver require configuring secure boot. To do this, okay. So we will have to, so we put a password. Next. So I will erase the disk and install Linux. Advanced feature, let's see where it is. A new Linux installation num. Okay. And install now. Following command, yes. London. Your name, TFL. Login automatically. And that's it. Wow. Okay. 10 times easier than Debian. Have to admit, this is 10 times easier than Debian. Welcome to Mint. Now let's change the settings back so it will mirror in the settings. And welcome to Mint. So it's here where you search update manager. Oh, okay. So it has an update manager. Do you want to switch to a local mirror? Yes, please. Uh, ba, ba, ba. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing. So leave this one like this. So apply update. So it looks like we do have one update here. So we're going to put the password and I have to admit I the computer does feel way snappier than Windows. Well, it's Linux. Linux does feel snappier, but this is way snappier. So we're going to do some updates over here. Now, what I'm doing updates, I want to open terminal because I'm really curious to see now Linux Mint, if it's made from Ubuntu, that means you can also run a small server on this thing. So I, I really want to try it. So to do apt install curl and let's put the password. What is that? Maybe it's because I'm doing updates. Okay, let's close the terminal. Let, let, let's leave the updates finish and we'll try again after. Okay, so they did the updates. We rebooted the system because this is what we were recommended. So now let's try to see if now I can install curl. So sudo apt install curl. Yeah, so it was because of the update. So curl is already installed. So Let's see how the performance is. Let's let's have a look a little bit of a look around. From what I heard, you get all the applications that you want here. So we're going to test a little bit to see. But in the same time, I want to see if I can install Casa OS on this because technically speaking, it should work without a problem because it's running Ubuntu. Casa OS works on Ubuntu and Debian. So generating cage, this might take a moment. That's fine. So if I copy this. It does. Okay. So at the moment, it's updating everything while well, installing CastOS and everything. Let's try to see a YouTube video to see this one is still updating. 
prefer the updates are a little bit slow. I mean, I'm having like 900 megabits speed on my internet, so this one should be fine. But hey, what can I do? System settings, apples, whatever that is. So let's select. Oh, my apology. Let's select this video. New stream. Love this uh, capture card, by the way, it's the same capture card that I'm using right now to record this laptop, the screen of the laptop. One of the best ones you can find on the market, have to admit. If you're looking for a capture card, I'll put the link in the description for this one. It's an affiliate link, don't get me wrong, but I, I love it so much, I can't stop recommending it. Because the only one that works on the, out of the box for Mac OS, Linux and Windows, you don't need any driver, you don't need nothing. You, OBS is just going to detect it was perfectly so keep in mind it's installing CAS OS it's updating the things cage so let's see I'm watching 720p but it is struggling a little bit and I'm pretty sure 4k won't won't stand the chance but no probably I'm, I'm thinking like I know Linus can well, Saying it's moving, but it's not moving. Wait, YouTube, what are you doing, mate? I don't think it's working. So 4K, it's too much. Well, yeah, the laptop is really old. So 1080p. Just so I can review it. No money will change, so I can say my honest opinion. Uh, the unboxing and then Okay, so it does run perfectly, but the moment I press like volume and stuff like this, you know, it does go a little bit. But at the end of the day, it works while I'm installing Casa OS and updating the case for everything. Okay, so we have here everything. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of apps. Now, my curiosity is because if this is going to work, then I'm going to try NVIDIA. Yes, it does. So you have all the drivers here, NVIDIA drivers. Wow. Uh, R, A, M, D, R, 5. Out of, you know, curiosity. And it did install. So you can, oh my God. You know what? I think I'm gonna update this. So let's new tab. Ah, no, I forgot. I, why am I thinking I'm in a browser? Copy link to Firefox and Casa OS. So it, it's really good because if Linux Mint, it's it's as easy as it is. And how I can see right now, it's very easy. You have all the applications here, system, and it's coming install pre-install with some really okay. Matrix Thunderbolt. Oh, this one, okay. Celate. What's what's this one? No, it's like a media pair, okay. So at the moment, all I want is just I open here and that's it. You know what? Let's let's see if it has more apps. If it has more apps, then I'm going to try to use my gaming PC theme. Okay, on Debian, for example, you have to install a Additional changes are required. Let's take a look at the list chain globe. The download. So it will do everything even if I didn't upgrade. This is cool. Okay, so I will let that one do it while I will test Casa OS. Because I'm really, really curious to see how it works. So my CPU, it just stays at 100% already by installing this one. So this is not good. Probably this laptop is not going to be perfect for this video, what I'm going to show you here. But at the end of the day, it does work. So for a different laptop, perfect. Now, while you're installing this one, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to, to give a break to this laptop, you know? Keep in mind, two CPUs, two CPUs. So of course it's going to run laggy, but it still works. I mean, it doesn't crash. It doesn't do nothing. Jellyfin, I want to install Jellyfin. Am I installing Jellyfin? Yes, it does. Continue in the background. How you can see, we have it here. So continue here. Now, if I go, not sure. Add the location and add a connect to a network drive. Here, I can connect to my SMB share and it worked. So if I go here, probably this is going to be too much for it because they're all 4k but take this video here I'm going to copy this it does oh that was so fast 
So Jellyfin is now installed. Now running, yeah, the processor is always staying at 100%. So let's click play. There is no way. Ah, it stopped. So you can't really watch a 4K movie. Yeah, how you can see it's loading. But the idea is it works as a server. So you can do a share and then share with your friends and everything, which is pretty awesome. You know what? Future me here. Uh, I have to admit, I uh, I thought there's no point for me trying gaming, but I tried this game here. And uh, keep in mind, this is a laptop that on Windows, I can't even, how do I describe that? You can't even watch YouTube anymore. That one, it's really bad experience, but you know, this one works YouTube and stuff like this. But even, even worse than this, I can game. Now, you know, it's not a best experience. And for example, this one, you know, but I'm gaming <laughs> on a laptop that literally I couldn't do nothing. I'm gaming. So this is the thing. Linux Mint. I don't know how you do it. Let's try this one. I'm really curious to see this one. Because this one is a newer game. <sighs> there is no way you can play this game. But even though, I have to admit Linux Mint, you really got my attention. So I'm going to make a couple of videos on you testing, testing this thing on most of the devices that I can. I'm really, really shocked. I understand that game is nothing. But still, keep in mind we're talking about a, a, a laptop, right? It's a really shitty laptop, the novel laptop, right? That you couldn't even watch a YouTube video. But now, for some reason, we can play some games. I'm really curious to see if it's gonna work. If, if, if this is gonna work, I will like, hands down, super impressed. Press any key to continue. There is literally no way. Okay, so we need to see what will happen when we get a lot of enemies. So how you can see, the more enemies I got here, because that's why I'm staying in one, in one spot, so I can like have an idea. But it's still, it's still going. Two CPUs. Keep in mind, we only have. Two CPUs. I don't even know what I'm selecting there. I'm just pressing enter. Okay. Okay, so this. I am very, very happy with the performance Linux Mint. Got my attention. I mean, you, you know what? We just revived a laptop that couldn't even watch YouTube on Windows to a laptop where we can play games from Steam right now. Not the best games on the planet, you know, not the most demanding games, but it's still games. Keep in mind, we couldn't even watch YouTube on this laptop. Voila, we're playing games now. So yeah, I have to admit, I'm really surprised by Linux Mint. It's an amazing operating system, easy to use, easy to install, easy to set up everything. And it gives you a lot of performance when it comes to all computers. But yeah, subscribe. I'm going to install it next on a gaming PC and I'm going to push it to see what I can do with it. Make it a server, make it a gaming computer, make it everything. So see you guys on the next one.